don't marry someone because such a person is doing ministry. Oh, he's very popular. He's preaching. He can preach. And then he wants to marry you. And then you're excited. And you want to marry the person on account of that. Let me say to you. You see, the Bible didn't say by their works you shall know them. It said by their fruit you shall know them. A man can have oratory skills and be able to speak. And yet, he does not understand marriage. A man may even be able to preach, but yet have no clue about the teachings of the scripture concerning marriage. That's why there are a lot of women who are suffering in marriage, yet they are married to supposed men of God. And yet they are still struggling and suffering in that kind of marriage. Many of them that you see that their husbands are very popular. Those ladies, I'm not saying all of them, but some of them, they really don't have their own life. They are, they are in a dead end. You know, they are just tagging along. They are just playing along. In fact, many of them have to be covering up for all the shortcomings of the man. Because if they come out and tell you what they are going through in marriage, you won't even have respect or regard for the ministry of that man. See, I'm talking of people who can even be renowned preachers, known all over the world. People who have, as they call it, several churches. Don't marry a man because of ministry. Let the Lord guide you to the right man. Let the Lord show you character that is consistent with the scriptures. Let the Lord show you character that is consistent with Christ. Let the Lord show you a man that has understanding of the marriage covenant. There are many preachers today, they don't understand marriage. They are preachers, but they don't understand the covenant of marriage. They don't know what Jesus has done concerning marriage and how the Lord wants marriage to be. They may be popular, people may love them, but their wives are crying at home. So when a man proposes to you, don't just say yes because, oh, he's a preacher. He prays very well. He's popular. Never make that mistake. Otherwise, you may cry in silence for the rest of your life. I pray you will receive wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus. We have a free marriage course to help you and to guide you. You can request for it. My name is Olusha Gumokwolu. God bless you.